Hey, what's up, guys? So, I have a little bit of a rant incoming. It's not salty or anything of that nature, so absolutely no worries there. But I want to talk about a couple things, primarily. I had a question thrown my way the other day. Completely genuine and honest question that I felt like deserved a really big response. I had a lot to say about it, at least, and here's what the question was, basically. It was, why do you only do random invasions? You're not going to get any better at the game by only fighting against people that are unprepared. You should do arenas if you want to get better at the game. This is basically how I interpreted the sort of question I got. And, you know, I don't think it was, you know, a, ma a malicious question or anything like that. So I'm not going off on, you know, what was said here. Uh, so if you're out there listening, uh, you know, I, I felt like it was a fair and honest question. I'm not salty about it at all. It's just I felt like, you know, I really wanted to talk about a whole lot of shit in regards to that. Okay? So, first of all, when I sit down to play this game, I'm not thinking to myself, how am I going to improve my skill level? That's not, that's not the first thing I'm thinking about. Now, do I try to learn new things when I play? Do I try to win? Of course I do. Of course I do. But my first and foremost objective is, how am I going to have a good time playing? The older and busier and more complicated my life got, guys, the less I cared about, you know, super competitive, how am I going to be amazing at this game sort of shit, and more of, eh, how am I going to enjoy an hour or two <laughs> of my day and try to get an escape? So there's the first thing, all right? There's my menta my first and foremost mentality as to why I like to do randoms is because I enjoy it thoroughly. It's my favorite thing favorite thing to do PvP wise in the game. Okay, so there's that. Now, secondly, <sighs> this is my opinion. Okay, it doesn't matter what you do in this game, whether it be duels, arenas, random invasions. You can be a great player doing any of those things. It, it doesn't matter in the slightest. That's my opinion, okay? Now, in terms of running into only unprepared players in random invasions, couldn't really disagree more, to be honest. You don't know what you're going to run into in a random invasion. That's... That is the thrill behind it. You could spawn into a 1v3 gank squad, find yourself completely at a disadvantage, handicapped, screwed from the get-go. You're not going to run into shit like that in duels or arenas. Not really, not unless you invade looking for a duel and hit up a gank squad. But, you know, there's, there's one reason why I love doing randoms, you know? On top of that, you can run into really awesome players in random invasions. I mean, all the arena players, all the duelists, they gotta play through the game too, man. You know, you can run into all of those guys in randoms. You know, you don't only run into people going through the level or only run into people still making their build. Not at all. Absolutely not. You know, I go through the game doing shit and I get invaded by, you know really high rank members of the Covenant all the time, and sometimes I lose, but sometimes I win too, so, I mean, you get a huge mixed bag in terms of random invasions, you know? Uh, there's my thoughts on that. So, as to why I don't like to do arenas, I kind of go back to the first part of this response. I don't have the time. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, when I sit down to play, 
It is for, seriously, yes, it's, it's for half an hour to an hour at most. And I might get to sit down for, you know, a couple uh, hour-long sessions on the weekend. So, you know, when I'm doing that, I'm not really interested in kneeling at a statue waiting to be matched up with somebody. You know, I kind of want to just move around, uh, stay active, move around from zone to zone, and pop, pop red-eye orbs, man. That's what I'm trying to do there. I have no problems with the arena. I think they've probably done a lot to it. I haven't been there in a while, mind you. No problems with arenas. No problems with duels. There's great. You can find great players in all the facets of PvP. I guess that's really my main point there. So that's the big thing that I wanted to address was that question I got. And, you know, just sort of, you know, in case anyone else is wondering, like, why... Do I only do randoms? How come I'm not doing arenas or duels or shit like that? Well, this is just what I enjoy doing. And this is what I do with my time. Uh, the very limited time that I have to play. So, oh yeah, and there was uh, the final stats from my dagger build. In case anybody was interested in uh, how that build turned out. Uh, this is definitely how I intend to keep it for a while. Look at that crit, man. That was insane right there. You're going to see here in a little while where I get a repost. It's right here, actually. Yeah, look at this, man. Uh, here, Actually, you know what? It doesn't happen for a little while, so I'll point it out. But remember, 2,800 damage on that last repost. Oh, yeah, here it comes. 2,800 damage. Then we get this right here. Boom. 800-something damage. Like, what? What? You know, like, What's going on here? Uh, but anyway, so I've, I've sort of finished up uh, primarily what I wanted to say uh, about that question I got. So I think we're good on that, guys. We're good on that. But I do want to talk about sort of related subjects, uh, just in terms of Dark Souls 2, that is. Um, I promise that there was a day when games used to come out and they weren't completely perfect. You know, they had bugs, they had glitches, but they were playable and enjoyable from start to finish. And there were some people that didn't like them. You know, they might have played it and thought, uh, this isn't for me, but they moved on. But then there were other people that just played it and loved it. And that was it. You know what I'm saying? That was it. Uh, we have moved away from those glory days in a huge way, guys. Especially, uh, let's see, I guess probably in the last six, seven years uh, is when I've noticed it, uh, just getting out of control personally. Uh, all the you know, corporate big business tactics we're starting to get, you know, all these... All these DLCs, expansions, um, you know, season pass, shit like that, you know, games that really wouldn't have passed back in the glory days because they're just simply unfinished products. But they come out now and release early because they can just be patched over time. So like that's the new that's the new tactic here is Oh, you know, we're just going to release games now that aren't finished, but we're going to get them out there so we can get paid. And over time, we'll fix things. Okay? I know that sounds, like, really pessimistic and awful, probably, but it's what I think sometimes uh, with these games. Games that I would love to give an honest uh, play that I would love to, you know, pick up, but I look at the way that it's been laid out, and I think to myself, man, I've seen this, and I've fallen victim to this one too many times, that I'm just not going to waste the money anymore. So, let me kind of transition this to Dark Souls 2. See, I'm really conflicted with this. Now, I'm really throwing my opinions out here. You guys are probably like, holy shit. Uh, Rep is really throwing out opinions now. Whereas before, I'm just like, 
in a turtle shell just talking about strategy and shit like that. Well, not for this one, uh, even in the slightest, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but, man, Dark Souls 2, I played the beta uh, on PS3, and I was so disappointed in the game. Like, so disappointed that... I didn't even finish playing the allotted time uh, that they gave us. So, that really sucked. You know, like, I was like, man, I'm just not, I'm not going to buy this on the PS3. You know, like, that's what I said. I could start going into all the reasons why, but, I mean, primarily, man, it, it played horribly. I mean, there were all kinds of performance issues, frames per second, uh, you know, just ugly looking lighting and graphics in my opinion uh just th everything felt like it was just incredibly slowed down and you know that's part of how the combat is in dark souls 2 it's way slowed down but on the ps3 man at least for me i don't know if it's just my ps3 or what uh but for me man holy shit like i was like dude i'm not gonna play like this i played dark souls on the ps3 too and i thought that it had performance issues but it was still playable, uh, just on the whole. But Dark Souls 2, man, that beta, holy shit. Uh, I, I was really upset, uh, just to be frank. I was super upset, and I was like, okay, well, you know, I can't, I can't buy this now on PS3, so I'm going to have to wait for the PC release, which was delayed. And I'm really glad I did. Uh, I will say that. I am very, very glad I did. The game runs beautifully on the PC. Everything feels like infinitely better to me. Uh, now, the state of PvP was rotten, okay? Uh, rotten. That's probably being polite, but it was completely busted. Uh, everything was backwards, and I mean, it was... I expected it to be busted, man. I mean, I wasn't like, oh, they're gonna, they're gonna make improvements on everything. You know, everything's gonna be great in Dark Souls 2. I knew this shit was gonna be busted, but I didn't know it was gonna be that bad. I really didn't. Uh, it was really fucking bad. Uh, but I've stuck with it, and once again, I'm glad as hell that I did, because I think they've done some great things, especially in the last few patches, man. Like, they've made some great changes. So I'm really impressed with that. And, you know, there is a reason why patches are great, is, you know, just for balance changes and shit like that, you know, along the way, you know, especially in online games, there are, it's a necessity, you know, but just in terms of making games playable, you know, when there are so many things wrong and you have to really do like three patches, four patches before the game is actually enjoyable again, you have a problem there, okay? Like... You have a problem. Uh, but I have been enjoying the game thoroughly. I've seen a lot of, actually, some other commentators, uh, some other Dark Souls 2 players that I love, uh, you know, Strider and uh, Hero of Canton uh, especially, have been, you know, talking a lot uh, of the PvP, the state of the game lately. And I'm in agreement with a lot of what they have to say just in general, I feel like the game has come a long way, and it's very enjoyable. Very, very enjoyable. Uh, you know, do I like it as much as Dark Souls? Do I like it as much as Demon Souls? <sighs> no comment, man. <laughs> no fucking comment there. Uh, all I will say is that I have been enjoying my time with the game, uh, especially lately. So, that's great and all. Uh, so... I am looking forward to Bloodborne. Uh, I'd like to kind of talk about Bloodborne at some point. You know, I think plenty of uh, other people have discussed it at length, so I don't have a whole lot to say about it, just in all honesty. But, you know, I am looking forward to it. I probably will buy a damn PS4 just so I can play it, which kind of sucks, because I doubt I'll play anything on the PS4 besides Bloodborne uh, or any other FromSoft game that might come out on that platform. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, so I am a little worried, though, man. Like, these these tactics, they're starting to seep over to the Souls games. Dark Souls 2, you know, a mess at the start. 
absolute mess. You know, I know Dark Souls was a mess too, but I mean, come on now, man. I mean, you need to make at least some improvements in that department. We don't need three or four patches. So now I'm going in circles, but it, it is like, a, it's a concern for me in Bloodborne because, you know, are we going to have the same lag fest that we've had in all the other Souls games? Because if so, I mean, it's still going to be fun and all. I'll still, I'll still fucking buy it, unfortunately. But, I mean, if we're not going to make any improvements, you know, in, in regards to the pronounced and, you know, prevalent lag that just exists in the Souls games, then I'm not going to be nearly as interested in it. You know, are we, are we going to have performance issues? Because, you know, it's, uh, from what I understand, it's only running at 30 FPS. Is it going to drop below that? I don't know. But we've run out of time, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.